My buddy, my poker buddy. Oh, did you play poker too? Hold on a second. Are you playing? No, oh, he is on there. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh wait. now I gotta talk to my poker buddy. I gotta give my advice. Hold on a second. I'll call you right back. Oh, uh, you went to MIT and you tested before MIT. You're you're a genius. Well, well, I may have tested at a genius level, but then I became an actor, so it was all a good point. What did you get on your? What did you get? What did you, what's your IQ? You know. Well, it was on the Stanford Binet. It was 184. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. So then, that's. I mean, you're you're. Wow, why did you become an actor after that? Why See, not? Just goes to show you, testing doesn't prove everything, <laughs> does it? Mr. Woods, can you can you actually count cards? Yeah, counting cards is not that hard. When you use high up five, it's not that hard. You just assign uh, values to uh, tens, non tens, fives, and aces. And then you just do a running count. But it doesn't make any difference because they use a six card shoe. And they, it, it, by the time you get to the bottom. Well, why don't you just do one decks then? Single decks. Because they don't usually like to deal single deck, and anybody who asks for a single deck is usually counting cards. And, and see, it's a, first of all, it's a kind of preordained. Uh, preordained resolution because anytime a casino sees somebody winning, they know something's wrong because everybody is supposed to lose at a casino. Except in poker, where you can actually dictate the equity of your hand by understanding the odds against you and hoping the other person or other people make mistakes with the cards they have. Yeah, you're so essentially you have playing higher out of equity yeah. going into the hand. It's, it's, well, it's, well, it's what's called positive EV. Positive expected value. Is that what you play normally in casinos when you go to Vegas? I only play poker. Uh, yeah. Hold them. I hold them, and uh, this year I actually won a tournament uh, playing uh, Omaha eight or better. Oh. Which is the high level. How much? You won the tournament. How did you? You made a lot. I, well, it was a small tournament. Have you beat like Ben Affleck? You know. And ben Affleck's a very good player, by the way. Yeah, all, by obviously. The way, uh, uh, I, I think Ben's an excellent player. But he was I, caught cheating. Well, he wasn't cheating, he was counting cards. You have a right to right. count cards. Oh, so it's they not cheating. They don't like it, but you can have a right So to. then they can ban you, right? They can ban you. They can ban you, but you, there's no, there's, you know, I mean, they can't stop you from being smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. Give us one advice on how to count cards. Just one simple one. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you advice on blackjack. Don't play it. You're a dog. You're, you're an underdog that's playing it. blackjack. You want to learn? If you want to win in any gaming enterprise, You've got to learn how to play poker because it's the only game where you actually can control your odds. Huh. For example, in general, roughly the odds, if you don't pocket aces against any other hand, your average uh, positive equity in the hand is 84% pretty flop, 82 to 84%, depending on who the other, what the other cards might be. Uh, so, for example, if you have pocket aces, you want to get all the money in because you're a five to one dog, basically. Yeah. A five to one uh, favorite, basically. Yeah. So.